I know what fruit this is. This is so easy. This is just Ace's fruit, right? The flame fruit. The Mera Mera no Mi, right? What is that? Pirating. We're gonna be sailing the seven seas. So how will this work? Well, every single new island in the first sea of block truths, I'll have to guess what a fruit is just from its image. If I get it right, I get the fruit. Starting with, what fruit is this? And why is it in real life? More importantly, I think I've seen that shape before. Wait, it's the gum gum fruit, right? It's pretty obvious. What is even that? What fruit is this? This isn't the gum gum fruit. This is the magma fruit. And why is it so badly corrupt? Does that mean I get it? I got it wrong? I got it right, technically. No, man. I gotta go through the starter island with just my fist then. Okay, where is the first quest? We've got to defeat some bandits. Okay, then bandits, let's do this. Bang! Oh, they kind of hurt. You know what? I'm going to fight all five at once because I'm just built like that. I might only be level one, but I don't care. Let's get all these guys at once. Quick tackle! Oh, yeah, this will be easy. It's not bandits. It's nothing personal, but I just need the XP. New quest available. That means we're level 10, so we can go to the next area, right? I've made it! Boom, it is time to guess the next fruit. Okay, what? Well, like, that's two things, and that doesn't even look like a fruit. And I swear I've seen this before. Isn't this just like the bomb from Mario? <laughs> this isn't the devil fruit. Oh my god, it's the bomb from Mario. So I got it right. Does that mean I get a fruit. The bomb fruit is $80,000 or 220 Robux. So we're going to buy it with Robux. And there we go. We have our first devil fruit. The bomb fruit. Okay, what is our first quest on the jungle? Are we going to have to take down some of those monkeys with our bomb fruits? Targeted bomb. Oh, wait, this is going to be good. Bang. <laughs> I just sent him to space. Take this monkey to infinity. New quest available. Because I'm level 17, I can now defeat eight gorillas. Oh, I found a gorilla. They're level 20. Oh, no. Bang. Nothing a bomb won't solve. This is going well so far. I'm just destroying all of the local wildlife because, you know, that's what a pirate does. Yar. <laughs> gorilla explode. Ooh, level 24. I'm fighting the gorilla king next. Take this gorilla king. Max targeted bomb. That did 140 damage. That was huge. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going angry. Wait, who are these guys? Get away. This is my gorilla king. They stole my kill. I leveled up to level 29 because okay. of that. The Gorilla King is back for round two. Targeted bomb. I just gotta keep moving, keep moving. And hit him with an explosion. Bro, he stole my kill. Like, fine, I'll allow it that one time. Next up, we gotta go to the Pirate Village. Pirate Village. What are we fighting? We're fighting pirates. But because we've made it here, that means we get to try and guess another fruit. Now, this fruit looks so much like the gum gum fruit, but it's like wavy. There isn't like a water water fruit, right? The smoke fruit. Let's go with that. Oh my god, no way. This is the smoke fruit, right? Yes, we get a Logia. The smoke fruit is 100 $100,000 or 250 Robux. Level 35 pirates. Take this, smoke slam. I'll just punch all of the pirates real quick. I've got all of them near me. Now we hit them with a smoke slam. Boom. I'm just gonna keep dodging and weaving, dodging and weaving. Smoke slam. I've got a move called smoke bomber. Oh my God, I'm like a jet plane. That was amazing. And we're level 37. Smoke bomber. This is so cool. Smoke mastery level 20. I can use smoke blast now. Oh wait, the grinding with this fruit is actually like fast now. We're gonna be speeding through this island. And we're already level 40. I've got to defeat eight brutes and I get $3,500 and 22k XP. Yes, please. Where are the brutes? Oh, these guys must be the brutes here. We're going to fly past them all. Come on then, brutes. What are you going to do against the smoke bomber? And then a smoke blast and smoke slam from the sky. This fruit is actually so much fun. It's crazy. Am I strong enough to just like not get hit now? Oh yes. The power of a Logia fruit. I don't even have to worry about these guys anymore. See what they're feeling right now is exactly what happens when you walk past somebody smoking on a street. You just have to hold your breath or else you die. Wait, why is this guy like running towards me menacingly? He's got the thunder fruit. Wait, he's trying to get me. You don't want me to become a jet plane. You ain't ready for this. Wait, he's just so afraid. Boom. Destroyed. That's what you try and get for running away. And that is level 55. Defeat Bobby. He gives $8,000. Okay, I gotta defeat Bobby no matter what it takes. There he is. It's Bobby. Let's do this, Bobby. Smoke blast. That's right. Walk through the smoke. I'll hit him with a quick tackle for the lols. I should be playing with my food here. I'm barely gonna win. Smoke slam. And now we go in like a jet plane. I earn. 2,000 XP for killing a boss. And I got 1,300 bounty as well. Now I've got to wait another 10 minutes for the boss to spawn. This is going to be such a long video. And it's also going to cost so many Robux with all the fruits I have to buy. So you guys got to subscribe and I'll be speed run to 200k. Okay, Bobby, this is the final time I'm going to take you down. And this time it'll be glorious. I'm going to dodge every single one of his moves. He's not going to hit me once. I just got to go up into the sky and hope for the best. And now we find this one straight down. Bobby defeated. And that's level 65. Nope, 66. We put all of our points into blocks fruits and we head 
to the next island. I have arrived. Now, this fruit could be literally just about anything. Why does it look so similar to the gum gum fruit? It's like kind of spiky. So maybe it's the spike fruit. But then it's got like this curvy bit. I don't think the spike fruit would have like this curvy bit. Could be something like the sand fruit, maybe. Or the dark fruit. Let's go with the dragon fruit. What am I even looking at here? <laughs> what fruit is this? Wait, is that venom? But it's not the venom fruit. It's just an image of the venom attack on the fruit. So I'm guessing I got that wrong because that's the venom fruit. So I gotta continue using smoke for this desert island. I'm in the wild west. It's time to take down Crocodile and his gang. I gotta be level 60. Luckily, I'm level 66. So wait, these guys might not be able to hurt me, right? You have the power of a Logia. It might have actually been amazing to keep this smoke fruit for now. This thing's gonna make taking out these desert bandits like so much easier. Desert bandits is nothing personal. I just need to keep eliminating you guys until I level up enough. I've done it to every other island I've been on. Now that I'm level 65, I have to defeat six desert officers for $4,500. Officers, it's time for you guys to die. Being made out of smoke really has its perks. Being able to fly around is amazing. Being able to stand still so nobody can hit you is also amazing. It's time to test out smoky liberation on these guys. Here we go. Smoke liberation. <laughs> I sent them into space. That feels good to use. New quest available. That means we've got to go to a new island, the frozen village. As soon as I step foot, I'll see what my next fruit is. Okay, this fruit is whack. Like, like what is this? It's so similar to like the previous ones. Like this looks like smoke kind of. And then it also looks like the gum gum fruit. Let's at least be smart about it though. It's not the soul fruit. It could be dough, but I doubt it. It's got to be the human Buddha fruit. It's got to be. And yes, it's the Buddha fruit. That means I get to use the Buddha fruit and it costs 1600 Robux. I can turn into a big bacon. Oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, what is this? I just found this cave. There's a guy over here. It's Rayleigh, the ability teacher. What does he teach me? Sky jump for 10K. I have 230K. I'll learn that. Enhancement for 25K. I'll teach you how to enhance your physical attacks. No way. We're learning hockey and also flash step for 100,000. Okay, I guess I'll learn it. Wait, these are amazing. All right, let's take this quest from this villager. Defeat seven snow bandits. Get over here, snow bandits. Just attack them all at once. Ground smash. Ground tackle. Come over here, snow bandit. I'm styling on this snow bandit. This is so easy. I'm doing 360s. Impact. There we go. Level 100. What do you want me to take down next, villager? Is it the snowmen? Yes, it is. Defeat eight snowmen. I get 150k XP. Perfect. I'll happily take them down. These are some insanely creepy snowmen. I'm just gonna keep on punching them and hope for the best. This whole time, I completely forgot to coat my fist in hockey. I could have been doing like way more damage. Okay, I'm stupid. Take this. Impact. There we go. Level 104. 105. Let's do this, Yeti. You're going down. Hit him with an impact. And now we run away and punch. We just gotta keep running away and keep punching. And he should eventually go down. He's on red HP. It's actually working. I just gotta keep on punching. I gotta keep on punching. Yes, it worked. Well, we just got to defeat the Yeti a few more times. And there we go. My next quest is available. What island are we going to next? We are going to Marine Fortress. We have to go take down the Marines. We've made it to the Marine Fortress. You know what that means? New fruit. Only if I guess it right. And I know what this is. This is just like the flame fruit. This has got to be Aces fruit, right? The flame fruit? There's no way it's anything else. What the heck? Wait, what is this? Why is this here? I just guessed the fruit wrong, so I got to use this Buddha fruit still. You know what? I don't mind that. The Buddha fruit is very good. All right, let's defeat some chief officers then. I Activate my fists and let's beat down these officers. No way. Is that dream? Oh my god. Actual dream in Roblox blocks fruits? Listen up, dream. I've got things to do, so go away. Well, this is gonna take a lot of grinding to get out of this area. I'm level 130. That means I can do the next part of this quest. What is up, Marine? Vice Admiral. Okay, Vice Admiral, let's do this. Oh wait, that's dream. My bad. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. <laughs> these guys don't want me here. I'm out. I'm on my depression arc. You know what? I'm angry. We're going to go back to the jungle and try and get a random fruit. That'll make me feel better, hopefully, if I get something good. Get a load of this block fruit dealer, cousin. You'll never guess what happened. Some guy hit me in the skull with a meteor. It's going to cost me 44k to get a fruit. Okay, give me. I got the revive fruit. Oh, it's like a skull. That's going straight in my basket. Hello, sword dealer of the east. Give me a sword. Triple katana. There we go. We've sing, got sing. it. Look at me. Now. Wait, what happens? Do I get giant swords if I go like this? Oh, yeah, this is what I was missing. Let's go then, Vice Admiral. Now that I've got this sword literally in my mouth, you don't stand a chance. Sing, sing. Activate hockey. It gives the swords hockey as well. Buddha attack. <gasps> I went out of my Buddha fall. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. That's what I meant to do. You see, now that I know how to take down this vice admiral, he's nothing more than a simple marine. Item drop coat. Whoa, I've got the drip now. Is that white beard's coat? What does that give me? Oh, it gives me 200 stamina. Yes, please. I will happily take that. Now we go to the next island and we've made it to the Skylands. What fruit is this? This doesn't really look like anything. Wait, it's got a star. What has a star? Phoenix? No. Light. It's got to be light, right? Because it's got the star. Is that the light fruit? I don't even know what the light fruit looks like. So I've been to research that 
that is the light fruit. So, light fruit purchase. 1,100 Robux. I'm so happy that I guessed that one right because this fruit's supposed to be amazing. Unless we 10, I can become a shooting star myself. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Okay, Sky Adventurer. What is my next quest? I gotta defeat seven Sky Bandits. I can do that easily. Get over here, Sky Bandits. Let's test out our Z move. Light Ray. Bang! That was clean. Oh my god, I'm actually level 47 already. Does that mean I can fly? Oh my god, I can fly. That's what you'd like to see. I can just stand here and hit every single one of them because of the light fruit being a Logia. I'm level 175. Can I take down the Dark Masters yet? Yes, I can. And they give me 7.5k per time. Dark Masters, I hope you guys are ready to get taken down. Mastery level 80. I can use Reflection Kick. I gotta test this out. Reflection Kick! Boom! Oh that was god. crazy. Nothing like a good old barrage of light though to just take them down. Am I stay incredibly <laughs> still in this tree. They can't see me. And then I charge up a light ray. Never mind. Just destroyed the tree. But I'm becoming an absolute gamer lord by using this light fruit. It's just so easy. You just get them all together and then you barrage them and then you hit them with a light ray and then you hit them with one of these. Bang! And then there goes like all their health basically. It's just too easy. I've got this movement. I'm moving at light speeds. I guess it makes sense because I have the uh, light fruit. Come on then guys. It's time for you all to die. Sky beam barrage. <laughs> Wait, this move is amazing. That's my new favorite move in the entire game. New quest available. We're going to the NPC at the prison. So that means another new fruit. Wait, so this one's the next one. This isn't even a fruit. It's just a creature. Wait, this is the leopard guy. Wait, it's trying to reverse psychology me. Before the flame fruit was the leopard. So this has got to be the flame, right? Yes, it's actually the flame fruit. What is going on here? Rob Lucci looking very different right now. He's looking kind of spicy. Flame fruit purchased for 550 Robux. Okay, Joe Keeper. What's your quest? Defeat prisoners. This will be easy. Are you a prisoner? Yes, you are. Fire bullets! <laughs> Bang! Ooh, that was pretty good. They're gonna be calling me Flame Fist Cubicle soon. Nothing personal, prisoners. It's nothing personal. We got to level 32. Burning Blast! Oh, <laughs> that did huge damage. Wait, now that I'm mastery level 49, I can become a fireball. Yes, this is what I was missing. Up into the sky. Fire Fist! That felt so cool to do. Flame mastery level 100. So what does Flame Destroyer do? I gotta test it out on the next prisoner that's spawns. You, you're the unlucky one. Flame destroyer. Oh, that's the thing that the guy used on me before. Yeah. What? That move is crazy. We've still got almost seven islands to go through, so we've got seven more chances to get even better fruits. I'm level 210, so that means I can fight the dangerous prisoners now. Are you dangerous? Oh yeah, he's got a sword. No wonder he's dangerous. Hit him with a flame column and then a burning blast. Now we jump up into the air and we hit them with the biggest flame destroyer we've ever used. Bang! <laughs> half of their health in one hit. New quest available. Yes, I can finally stop fighting these dangerous prisoners. The head jailer. We gotta fight the warden. Is this the warden? Yes, it is. Let's do this flame flame fruit. Flame destroyer. Burning blast. Take down this guy first. Yep, that's what you like to see. And now we take down this boss. The chief warden with a fireball. I guess we'll just keep fighting them both over and over. Serpentine, serpentine. Gotta be careful. Look what's happened to your warden, Swan. Do you see this? I'm destroying them. Okay, Swan, so you noticed that your teammates were being destroyed? Now it's your turn. Flame destroyer. Please do a lot of damage. I need to activate Haki like right now. Fire fist. Get him in the tornado and run. Fly away. <laughs> now we hit him with the fire bullets and hope that we don't get caught in any string. Need to wait for him to use the next move. Yes, perfect. Now we can hit him with this. Is he dead? He's oh not dead. God. Fire fist. Yes. Well, we'll fight Swan one more time and then we're going to go to the next island and hopefully get another fruit. Where is he? Where is he? Fire bullets. Just going to keep dodging because if he hits me once, like it's over. Wait, this guy's really coming in here to steal my kill? Yes, he didn't steal the kill. Well, to the next island we go. It's the Colosseum. We've made it. And what exactly am I looking at here? Does this fruit have horns? It's like fluffy. What is this fruit? Oh, maybe it's the spring fruit because it's got like the twirly bits on top. Oh, but then it could also be like, it could be anything. It's got horns. So we're going to go with the phoenix fruit. Final answer. It's the dragon fruit. How did I make such a simple mistake? Ah, oh, that makes so much sense now. It's got the two dragon horns. I guess that means we get to use the flame fruit. It would have been way cooler to use the dragon fruit though. We got to fight toga warriors. Where are these toga warriors? Are you a toga warrior? Oh, it is. Can they even hurt me? Ah! Nope. I'm made out of fire. It was actually so good that I didn't guess dragon now that I'm realizing it because it means I get to use this flame fruit for longer. Logias are just too good not to use. Wait, could I launch one of these guys into the ocean? Follow me and then bang. Oh, so close. Flame bullets. That didn't work either. What if I like stand on the very edge and then blast? 
Yes, you got sent in. <laughs> that worked so well. All part of my strategy. Are we level 275? Yes. I can finally stop destroying the entire population of Toga Warriors. And we can move on to the gladiators. Are you a gladiator? Oh, yes, you are. You're a very angry gladiator. Fire bullet. Wait, I didn't even realize I could play in first person. Wait, this is quite fun. I mean, apart from the fact that I can see my bunny ears whenever I run, the grind in this game is no joke. Even with my fruit changing every island, it is still no joke. I also completely forgot about the block fruit dealer cousin. I forgot I can just buy fruits, right? It's gonna cost me 60k? Fine, whatever. Give me a fruit. I got the barrier fruit. That's pretty cool. That'll go straight into my inventory. Find the NPC at Magma Village, 1,200 meters away. The Magma Village. Whoa, it's like a volcano that's actually erupting. That's not good. Okay, these fruits have gotta be a troll now. There's no way. This is the ice guy, right? Aokiji? I bet he's actually like the lightning fruit or something. Oh, but what if it's a bait? I'm gonna guess it's the ice fruit. Yes, it actually was. That means we get to use the ice fruit for the Magma Village. There's the ice fruit. Now we're gonna be cool, calm, and collected. And I've got a trident. This is sick. Hello, Mayor. What would you like me to do? I'm gonna take out seven military soldiers. Are you a military soldier? Level 300. Can he hurt me? Oh, they can hurt me. That's not good. How can you activate it? Ice spears. Ice mastery all the way up to level 34. That means I can use ice surge. <laughs> I launched him into the ocean. Are you good over there, bro? I gotta be so careful. Jump up. I spears. I can't get too close or else I'm just dead. This is the riskiest island I've been on yet. Oh, wait. We can start taking down military spies now. Never mind these simple soldiers. We're going up in the world. Glacial Epoch. <laughs> that is the best move ever. So where are these military spies? Are you a spy? Oh, these are definitely the spies. All right, then spies, let's go. Just gotta be super careful because these guys hurt a lot. Glacial Epoch. It's so cool. And there goes four of the military spies. That was easy. Not even a struggle with this new ice fruit. What do you want me to do now, Mayor? Can I fight the Magma Admiral now? He gives 3 million XP, 15k. Oh, this is not gonna be easy. I can already tell. Let's do this. I'm dropping in. Ice bird. <laughs> I somehow managed to freeze the Magma Admiral. I never thought that would happen. Freeze him and run. I just gotta hit him with everything. Bang. Wait, he's easy to defeat. As long as I don't walk in a straight line, I should be good. He is very low. I gotta finish him with my glacial epoch. Epoch. I don't know how, I don't know how to say that properly. Let's try it. Bang. Obtained one magma ore and I got a refined musket. A rare gun. That gave me so much XP. <laughs> this is the final magma admiral I'll have to take down. Take this magma admiral. 910 damage per ice spike. That's what you like to see. Okay, here we go. It's over. Admiral, let's do this. Yes, I defeated him. And that's level 379. So we can go to our new area. We're going to the underwater city. How do I even touch this whirlpool island? What? Oh no. Where am I? Oh, I'm in an underwater city. You know what? That makes sense. It literally is called the underwater city. But first, we got to defeat eight fishman warriors. I can do that. Wait, what fruit is this? Oh, wait, that's Blackbeard. You think I wouldn't notice you there without your beard? It's still growing, I can tell. It's got to be Blackbeard's fruit, right? The dark fruit. What am I even looking at here? Is that Mihawk's sword? So I somehow had to get that this was Mihawk sword. I keep getting baited on all these. At least it means I can still use the ice fruit. Let's take out my anger on these fish, man. Take this. Activate my hacky and let's do this. Ice spears. Use my glacial attack. And now we ice surge. Are they dead? No, that was just one. Ice is mastery level 160. I feel like I'm really making some moves. Wait, this place is actually good to grind. There's so many like people around. We're having some fish soup tonight. Give me the level ups. Fishman Commando. How strong is he? Oh, they've got three swords. Okay, they mean business. And these guys are strong. They do not mess around. Bro, I can't get a kill. Can you not? Oh, he's a Marine. Oh, he needs to be careful then. He's definitely like way stronger than me because he's rocking the light fruit and he's probably only been using the light fruit. So I'm like massively behind on mastery XP. But what if I like catch him while he's weak and defenseless? That's what I need to do. Oh, this guy's back for round two. You really want to go? That was lucky. I'm coming back for round two. Bro just came in and stole all my kills. One good glacial epoch and it's game over for him. Bro's coming back? Really? Does he not have anything better to do? This ice fruit is so hard to aim. It's actually crazy. Yeah. Ruined. That's what happens, boy. When you don't get lucky and my move doesn't go off, I destroy you. Oh, he's coming back. I can hear him. There he is. Take this. Boom, easy. Don't even challenge me, light user noob. These fishmen commando are mine. I already know he's coming back to try and fight me. There he is. He's up there. Say goodnight. <laughs> like I said, if he gets caught in my glacial epoch, it's just over for him. All right, I got things to grind. Can he like grow up now? I think this is the final fishman commando that we have to defeat. And then we have to go fight the boss. And then I can finally leave this island and get my next fruit, hopefully. Defeat the fishman lord. Okay, I can do that. As long as he doesn't become a Beyblade, this should be easy. Boom. 
Oh, bang. I need to be careful. Freeze. And now attack. Oh, he's got a second form. Nobody told me about the second form. This is one scary fish. Ice bird. Yes, 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 yes. That did good damage. I can't see him. Did I get him? Yes. How many levels did I get? Four levels? Let's go. Is it finally over? No, <laughs> there's another one. Fine. Take this. Just hit him with all the ice attacks. Oh, he is actually terrifying in that second form. Stay frozen, please. It's time to turn the world to ice. Find the NPC at Skylands. So we're going from the bottom of the ocean to the very top of the sky. Fair enough. Let's get moving. Okay, Mole, what do you have for me? I have to defeat seven God's guards after I guess this fruit. What is this? It kind of looks like fancy and swirly, but also spiky. What is this? This has got to be the dough fruit, right? Wait, no, no, no. It's not doughy enough. I think the dough fruit would be like spongy. This fruit could be falcon. There aren't really many fruits left that it could be. That looks an awful lot like electricity, to be honest. Final answer is the electric fruit. I don't know what it's called. Just the one that shoots out electricity. Oh, what is this? Yeah, this is the rumble fruit. We get the rumble fruit. We'll be using Enel's fruit against him. I'm so glad that this rumble fruit wasn't like a bait. And I've also noticed that the fruits are getting like better and better every single island that we're going to, which means I'm going to have to spend more and more Robux if I get them correct. So maybe I throw it. Maybe I purposefully get it wrong just so I don't have to spend a ton of Robux. Rumble dragon. It's not a dragon. It's just some lightning, but that's pretty cool. But we got a move called lightning dash. Wait, that's like an instant teleport move. That's pretty useful if I'm in trouble. It's just not useful for like right this moment when I need as much damage as possible. I'm finally done with the guards, but now I've got to defeat nine Shandas. Are these Shandas over here? Yes, they are. Oh, oh no. Get over here, Shandas. We got to get all of them at once and hit them all with the biggest thunder strike they've ever seen. Here we go. Sky thunder. Oh, I died. That would have been so cool, but I messed it up. Attempt two. Sky thunder. No, no, no. I need to be very careful. Rumble dragon. Bang. Oh, so much mastery. Oh, who is this guy? What is your name? A whisper? Weisper? I don't know what his name is, but he looks like he's gonna hurt. So I need to be careful. Wait, this guy is not messing around. As soon as I get to Mastery 160 and get Sky Beam, it's gonna make grinding so much easier because at the moment, I'm just doing one of those and I'm using a Sky Thunder and then I'm hoping for the best. That's about it. Oh, he's getting low. He's getting low. Two more attacks and then he's dead. With this hit, he's gonna be gone. Bang. Yes find the new NPC. Oh, are we going to a new area in Skylands? Oh, does it mean I have to get a new fruit? As soon as I got 160 mastery as well, I've unlocked my last ability. Before I change my fruit, I gotta test out the sky beam. Oh I God. wanted to use that. Look how cool that is. This is actually so sad. I know what fruit this is. I've seen this picture before. Unless, wait, it might not actually be what's inside. Please be something scuffed instead. This is the quake fruit, but I hope it's something else. <laughs> no, it's the quake fruit. That means I have to change from thunder. You know what? The quake's good though. I like that. I've already got my furry white beard cosplay going on. So you know what? This fruit works well. Quake fruit. 1500 Robux. Not bad. Now I've got to take out eight royal squads with only my quake fist attack. Quake punch. I sent that guy to space. This might be amazing. I mean, it's not really ideal for like grouping them up and attacking them all at once, but you know what? It works. That's quake mastery 63. So now I can use quake wave. Oh my god. This fruit feels so powerful. I'm level 525. We've nearly completed the entire first sea. We've only got like two more islands left or one more island. So we have one more chance to guess a fruit. And this fruit is probably going to be the strongest fruit we can get. And now it's time to defeat the Thunder God. Let's do this. Summon the tsunami. Here comes the tsunami. <laughs> oh my god. How much damage is it going to do? It did like a smidge. But you know what? We need a smidge of damage right now. We need every bit of damage we can get. He's so, so low. I gotta finish him with the dual tsunami. Tsunami! The way that it's delayed is so cool. Here it comes. You better watch out, Enel. This is gonna hurt. Bang! Item drop. Pole first form. Ooh, a legendary sword. That's cool. I've now got a pole. So I guess we just have to keep on fighting Enel over and over. I actually feel sorry for Enel. Like, I could play ping pong with this guy at this point. Like, <laughs> I sent him all the way across over there. If I had somebody else to play ping pong with, that would be crazy. When I take you down here, Enel, we can go to the next island. I can finally get the final fruit. The final island. Fountain City. We've made it. Hold on. Hold on. This is just a banana. Like, there's no way this is a devil fruit. It's just a banana with, like, a mustache on top. What could this be? So, our fruits have gotten better and better the entire time. Imagine this has been trolling me this entire time. Making me think it's getting better and better. It's just gonna be kilo fruit. Could it be the soul fruit? Do would the soul fruit be a banana, though? Oh, it could be the dough fruit. We haven't had dough yet. Please be the dough fruit. I mean, it's a banana. That's got nothing to do with dough, but imagine. <laughs> Wait, is that the dough fruit? What is that? It is, in fact, the dough fruit. So, now our final fruit for the Fountain City is dough. I've got to somehow defeat eight galley pirates with my level one dough fruit. It's gonna be fun. Fried dough. 
That's just an explosion. Is this what happens when you cook like a pizza for too long? Guys, don't panic, but I've got a move that turns me into a donut. I can just run a full speed as a donut. This is crazy. This might be my new favorite movement ability. Like, this is actually nuts. Sticky dough. How does this work? Sticky dough. Oh, I like grab them. Can I like not move or something when I do that though? Like, that was terrible. Galley captains. Okay, you guys are next for me to eliminate. Get caught by dough. Oh no, they hurt. They hurt. Grab you. And you're off over there. That is so fun. Just grabbing people and throwing them. Final boss is Cyborg. Does he hurt? Yep, he hurts. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. He's literally a boss. I can still hit him with the dough, though. That's what you like to see. What happens if I drop him in the ocean? Hey, you. Go in the ocean. Oh, no. He respawned. Nothing happened. He's below half now. He's going down. I still gotta be careful, though, because, like, a few good hits and it's game over for me. Why do I feel like I'm not doing as much damage? Is something wrong? No, I'm definitely doing less damage. This guy just might be built like a tank because he's the final boss of the first C. Come on, come on. He's getting low. I'm running out of stamina. I've hit him that many times. Please, just let this one be the final hit. I'll dunk him into the ocean. Eh, it didn't work. Explode him instead. Yes. This is actual pain. He's ruthless with his attacks. He doesn't stop ever. Sword attack. That sword does nothing. Fried dough, please work. Sticky dough, grab him and throw him away. He's nearly dead. Ooh, item drop. Cool shades. Wait, those are cool. Oh, I look good. It's crazy. These cool shades just make me so much more OP than I was before. And he's dead. I'm destroying. We've sailed across the entirety of the first sea. We've gone to every island. You got a fruit on every single one. Why did this boss sound like he just malfunctioned? What was that? But anyway, when I defeat him here, we'll finally reach level 700 with the dough fruit. How low is he? Oh, he's low. Here we go. Fried dough. Yes. Level 700. We did it. And that is the complete first C. Subscribe if you want to see more blocks fruits.